Get away from her, you bitch! No, I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do another robot episode, okay? Loyal viewers, hi mom, know that I hate robots and I'm just done with it. I'm not doing another one. You can't make me do it. I am not interested. What did you expect? You thought I was just gonna waltz right in here and be like, that's a clip from the 1986 film Aliens and this is the hook. Oh, son of a- Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that I am apparently going to do another robot episode, I guess. All right, well, the latest super intelligent soulless automaton sure to gain sentience soon and condemn us all to quick summary executions is called... <laughs> Harmony. Whatever. Okay, Corey, get someone else to explain it. I don't care. Harmony is a bimanual exoskeleton. That means it uh, wraps around the subject's body, around both of their shoulders, arms, and their wrists. It's a robot designed to deliver physical therapy. Oh, hey, that's UT professor Dr. Ashish Despondi, who viewers may remember from episode three of The Hook. As a matter of fact, Dr. D is about the only guy I trust not to build homicidal superbots. But before we dig in here, Dr. D, I gotta know, is Harmony going to imprison people and make them unwilling participants in some kind of body snatching global takeover? Not at all. We, this, so, first of all, the robot technology hasn't developed the intelligence to the level that we, any of us have to be worried about, and I don't foresee that happening. Other thing is, I mean, we, safety is our biggest concern. That is sort of, uh, it's very different from designing a robot for an industrial application and robot for a medical application, especially that's connected to someone's body. Fine, fine, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Just uh, tell me how this not evil robot works. It wraps around the person's body and it has 14 electric motors that can power the motion of the body. So in physical therapy, Initially, maybe for a stroke subject, they may not have any ability to move one side of their body. So the, uh, the physical therapy then involves kind of letting them move their body, assisting them if they are not able to move so that some of the uh, muscle connections start to build up again. And of course, the long-term goal is that by moving the body enough, by through extensive practice, you want to have the brain connections to reconnect again. That may have broken down. Okay, but since I spend most of my evenings sitting in my basement scrolling endlessly through robot news so I can prepare myself for every eventuality of the inevitable robot uprising, specifically by buying off-brand survival gear and 50-gallon drums of water from China on eBay, I know that there are other robots being developed like this right now to, to help patients in therapy. So I have to ask, what makes this one different? We invented some subsystems that allow for the shoulder to be moved through its full range of motion. And that's critical because shoulder uh, motion is lost for many stroke subjects. Uh, even for uh, spinal cord injury patients, shoulder motion is lost. Sure, sure, but even if they help people heal and regain mobility or whatever, there's still gotta be something evil about them. Aha! They're gonna put physical therapists out of a job, aren't they? First they'll come for our medical jobs, and then they'll come for our, I don't know, projectionist jobs, and then they'll come for our cherished etiquette and protocol jobs. It's a bleak and horrible future. What do you say to that? Sort of future of physical therapy is that we have robotic systems that are tightly working closely with physical therapies that are most likely are gonna be programmed at a high level by physical therapists. And I envision sort of a number of robots in a physical therapy setting where the therapist can start somebody and they can work with the robot for an hour or so while the therapist can work with someone else. So we have same therapists being able to help many people. Okay, so it'll help physical therapists be more efficient and yes, it'll collect massive amounts of very valuable data that can help professionals make better informed decisions, lead to potential new breakthroughs and create greater access to physical therapy. Okay, I'm fine with this robot, but if we do another episode on so much as a toaster oven, I am walking. No! If you wanna learn more about Harmony, that wonderful robot, check out the link in the description down below where of course there are three UT news stories. You can find out the jargon behind rowing and what it all really means 
you can find out how cell phones affect grades for college students, and you can find out what's the deal with the mumps, and specifically the mumps that have shown up on campus lately, and I can assure you not to worry. Maybe. I don't know. Check the link. That's what it's there for. Uh, oh, and while you're doing stuff, of course, uh, subscribe to The Hook if you haven't already, and check out the Texas X's in our wonderful magazine, The All Call Day, and all your favorite social media websites. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rush. Stay hooked.